Cusack, you have moved to County Council at large representative. One of the biggest challenges and accomplishments of 2016 was Hurricane Mackey. For many, 2016 will be the year that we felt the impact of a major hurricane for more than a decade. When Hurricane Mackey passed by Volusia County October 7th, it left in its way more than 10,000 homes, businesses, and government facilities impacted, and more than 1 million cubic yards of debris. The county's Citizens Information Center provided information to more than 10,800 calls. The county and municipality's response was truly cross-functional and comprehensive. More than 200 individuals worked at the county emergency operations center, coordinating with local municipalities, businesses, and nonprofits for response and recovery operations. Hi, I'm Vice Chair Deb Demings, representing parts of Port Orange, New Smyrna, Edgewater, Oak Hill, parts of Deland, Deltona, and Osteen. In 2016, Volusia County made a lot of headway in construction projects and also supported economic development. The Trimble Bay Road and Bridge is a major link in Southeast Volusia, providing a convenient connection for our residents on the west side of Trimble Bay to downtown New Smyrna Beach. But the 1967 bridge has well exceeded its design lifespan. Last year, bids came in for construction of a new Turnbull Bay Bridge in New Smyrna Beach. Those bids were more than $3 million more than expected. But this year, the County Council fought for and secured additional federal funds to offset the shortfall. And we are excited that construction will begin by July of 2017. Construction was completed in 2016 on the $15 million South Williamson Boulevard Extension Project, a new four-lane road, two and a half miles from Airport Road to Pioneer Trail in Port Orange. This was accomplished through a public-private partnership to advance this important transportation project that will not only enhance transportation mobility, but also provide much-needed economic stimulus to Eastern Volusia County. Hi, I'm Fred Lowry. I represent the wonderful areas of DeBerry, Deltona, Enterprise, and Osteen. And in 2016, the Volusia County Council made a major commitment to fight homelessness with Hope Place. The Volusia County Council agreed to purchase the former Hearst Elementary School Building's property for $200,000 from the Volusia County Schools. The property was then deeded to Halifax Urban Ministries. The County Council also voted to spend an additional $3.5 million to renovate the nine buildings at the school complex. Under this agreement, Halifax Urban Ministries would become the owner and operator of Hope Place. Hope Place will offer housing for homeless families and teens that are on their own. It will also include a medical clinic, cafeteria, laundry area, family TV room, and areas for pre-K and adult education. Case managers will work with the Hope Place residents to get them back on their feet and living independently within three months while providing a safe and dignified environment that respects and addresses their needs. I'm Billy Wheeler, your representative for Daytona Beach, Daytona Beach Shores, Consumer, Fort Orange, South Daytona, and Rover by the Sea. This beautiful ocean center we are sitting in was full of excitement in 2016. More than 250,000 people attended one of the 104 events hosted at the Ocean Center in 2016. The National Cheerleading Association and National Dance Association's Daytona Beach International Championship has been hosting its event at the Convention Center for more than 20 years, a testament to customer satisfaction and great customer service. The community is getting ready to host this summer's International Shriners Convention here at the Ocean Center. More than 2,700 area hotel rooms are booked for the July Convention, which is estimated to have an economic impact of $8 million and an attendance of up to 15,000. I'm Heather Post, representing Ormond Beach, Ormond by the Sea, Holly Hill, the western half of Daytona Beach and the eastern portions of Deland and De Leon Springs. With several projects completed, 
2016 was a banner year in the, for economic development. The county invested considerable effort for business recruitment and business expansion. At least four existing businesses expanded their operations to add jobs, and two other businesses were recruited with approximately 1,000 jobs expected. Some examples include Vibron Medical Company, a German medical manufacturer that announced plans to make a capital investment of more than $100 million and create 175 jobs. Davida Labs plans to expand its Deland complex with the construction of a new lab building and the creation of 100 new jobs. And Tanker Outlet Mall, a $100 million destination retail center, has opened with more than 75 outlet stores at its high-profile location on Interstate 90. 